Hi, we're talking Saints baseball, and I'm here with head coach Mike Davidson. Team is coming off um, four games. They split against um, against Barton, and they opened up the two game set at Hutchinson. Kind of tough, tough day over at Hutch. Um, kind of got blown out of the first game, and then second game had a great position, great uh, pitching performance by Tyler Wilcox, but unfortunately couldn't hold on to the lead. Talk about those two games, uh, coach. Yeah, I mean, the game one, you know, we were still without uh, Brian Luna, and so we um, tried somebody else different. Uh, Aldo Ostos started, and Aldo's got good stuff. He's a freshman, and so we gave him an opportunity to get a start. After Herrera last week, we started him and didn't work out very well, so we uh, flipped the quarter and went to the next guy and, and didn't get a very good result again. And and uh, Aldo didn't help himself. You know, we ball back to him in the first inning to get out of there with one run or no runs, and we, and we air mail it in the outfield. And so we just compounded injuries and then don't get off the mound on a bunt. And would have got us out of an inning, we don't. And we wound up giving up two runs. And so uh, just unfortunately, he didn't take advantage of those opportunities. And Hutch, Hutch's number one is a good, uh, he, he throws a ton of breaking balls. And uh, we did a bad job of, you know, hitting a fly ball again, and that's kind of our nemesis has been all year is uh, when we stay on top and drive the baseball, we're pretty good. When we hit a lot of fly balls, we're, we're not very good. So uh, game two, Tyler did a great job and went out and battled for us. He, he struggled a little bit early, but he found a way to just get out of there with one run and then got into a little bit of a rhythm and uh, unfortunately ran out of pitches. You know what I mean? He was, I think, at uh, 89 or 91 when we took him out um, in the seventh inning. But we felt really good with Elias coming in with a two-run lead. And he, he pitched well in the eighth and got out of there, no runs, and everything went well. And then, uh, unfortunately, things didn't work out for us in the ninth. And, uh, well, you know, we didn't even get an out. Um, and so uh, just kind of felt like we got into that mode of uh, – Pitching not to lose, not pitching to win. And uh, we, we made some questionable pitches, 2-1 uh, breaking balls and things like that with nobody on. Why, why are we doing that? Right. And uh, let them get in fastball counts. And, and, and kudos to them. They, they took advantage uh, and were able to manufacture uh, three runs there uh, in the ninth inning and, uh, and walk us off and send us home. So... Uh, We've got to find a way to regroup and uh, get going again. And uh, we've uh, moved games to Sunday at 1 and 3 due to high wind warnings and stuff. So we got an extra day to regroup. I don't know if that's good or bad, but it will help our bullpen, help our pitching on, on that side. And uh, we've got to find a way to split the series and uh, keep moving forward. So... Uh, Jekyll and Hyde again. We'll see see what happens. It's kind of been the story of our year. And you know the team was coming off had some momentum going in. You guys had uh, in your previous series against Barton. You guys had lost here, but then you went on the road and you actually and you swept them pretty good. And you know this team has sort of seemed to have a feel of ways of being. You know you sort of said Jekyll and Hyde, but at the same time too they've been kind of resilient. You know. You could, it could easily be losing three or four. You'd rather be winning three or four. But you guys have been split, and I think that – do you think that you guys are on the purposes of the edge of trying to find something? I know that at the same time, too, it's kind of hard with the game that you guys just – which you guys just had. But, um, you know, with Wilcox playing, and, you know, as far as relievers goes, you get a balloon save once in a while. No one's ever – um, you know, an Al Roboski or a Mariano Rivera to shut down every single game. Sure. Yeah, we, you know, I, I, I like our club. I think, you know, we had an unfortunate injury pop up and Rowan didn't play yesterday mm -hmm. at all. And, and he's got something going on in his hand. Oh. And after BP, he just had no grip strength or couldn't mm -hmm. do anything. So we, and he's we, a big part of the offense. Yeah. And so that explains a lot over there why you scored with three and one run, uh, just a few runs out over there where you could just cut scored a lot more. Yeah, it changes the game. I mean, it just changes your lineup and it forces everybody into a different role. And right. but we were still adequate to be able to do. We just mm -hmm. we just had some bad at bats and mm -hmm. and didn't get it done when it mattered. I mean, I, we we leave a lot of guys in scoring position and we we've got to do a better job of that. Mm -hmm. But uh, 
I mean, the the club is it has a chance when when we we show up and with mm-hmm. the right mentality and and we play for each other and, and we play for us. We we're pretty good. And but we we, we tend to struggle with adversity. Like in the first game, all of a sudden. Hey, hey, Rowan's not going to be able to play. You're going to have to move over. You're going to have to do this, and it's kind of like a, a shocking moment for us to, mm. like, man, we got to re, you know, we just don't regroup real fast right there. And right. Same thing happened with Brian Luna not starting last weekend. Mm. Hey, Brian's not going to be able to go, and we we just kind of don't play well. Mm. You know what I mean? But uh, they're a resilient group. They've responded all year. I mean, I was really proud of their effort and responding. We went to Barton and. Um, you know, we asked our pitching staff after it was kind of depleted to say, hey, all hands on deck. Right. I know you threw 70 pitches two days ago, but you may have to throw an inning today. Right. Uh, we, we have to do what we got to do. We got to split this thing. And they all said, coach, we're, we're all available. Right. You know, uh, from, from the guy that threw three pitches to the guy that threw a complete game, they, they were ready to go. And coach, I got one. I can do whatever. So um, appreciate that effort and that attitude. And, and we're going to have to have it again here. Uh, with Hutch, and uh, we got to dig in and get game one, and then we'll worry about game two. And it's going with um, Newman and um, Gerber, right? Correct. Okay. Yeah, same so, rotation. Okay. All right, Coach. Well, again, the um, the game has been moved to Sunday at um, at one and three at Brent Gould Field, come on out. It may be a little windy, hold on to your hats, but it's gonna be a great game, I'm sure. Always two very competitive teams. Good luck on, on Sunday, Coach. Appreciate it, Phil.